In this video, I'm gonna help you choose between the two digital audio workstations, or doors, that come with your new Scarlett second generation interface, which are Ableton Live Lite and Pro Tools First. Our digital audio workstation, or a door, is a piece of software that you can record music into and then use to edit your music. We'll discuss the features of each to help you decide which one would best suit your recording needs. Now, the first thing to clarify is that both Ableton Live Lite and Pro Tools First will allow you to record audio and MIDI data and edit your recordings. They just have different designs and features. Here's a table to help you compare the features of Ableton Live Lite and Pro Tools First. Both of these doors have a wide range of functionality and workflow options. However, Ableton is best suited to a loop pattern-based workflow, whereas Pro Tools is best suited to a linear workflow for recording and editing. Ableton Live was historically an electronic music performance piece of software used to create unique live sets on the go by triggering clips from the session view. But software has evolved into a fully fledged door over the years and now has fantastic audio recording capabilities in the arrangement view, as well as maintaining the fantastic live features from its origins. Pro Tools was the door that sparked the transition from analog recording using tape to digital recording using computers in the late 80s and early 90s. And Pro Tools has become widely regarded as the industry standard software for advanced audio editing. Let's have a look at both pieces of software to help you decide which one will best suit your recording needs. This is the default view in Ableton Live when you open it up, which is called Session View. This is Ableton's unique view that allows you to make clips of audio or MIDI and then audition them to come up with arrangement ideas for your song. The session view gives you a vertical display of the elements in your track, as opposed to the horizontal track view that you get within most other doors. It allows you to have clips of audio or MIDI to trigger, which lets you experiment with the elements in your track before committing these to the arrangement view. Now, Ableton also has a second view called arrangement view, which you can get to by pressing tab on the Mac or PC, or by clicking up in the right-hand corner here. This is a more traditional layout for a door and allows you to record multi-track audio just like you would in any other door in a linear fashion. You can export from this section by coming up to File, Export Audio, and Exporting. Ableton possesses very powerful MIDI editing functions, which is why it's so popular among electronic music producers. Ableton Live Lite also allows you to use the plugins that we bundle with eligible hardware, such as Addictive Keys, the Softube Time and Tone Bundle, the Focusrite Red Plugin Suite, and the Novation B Station Plugin. And these are all available in the plugin menu on the left hand side of Ableton, just over here. You can also use third party plugins inside Ableton, such as Massive, Silent, Waves plugins, and more, which are also available in the plugin folder just on the left hand side of Ableton. You're able to use up to eight tracks of audio or MIDI up to eight scenes, four audio inputs and four audio outputs simultaneously. You also get a selection of audio effects, MIDI effects, and sounds to use in your tracks in Ableton Live, which are all available from the left-hand menu. The link in the description below this video contains more details of exactly what's included. This is Pro Tools First, which is Avid's introductory version of the industry standard audio editing software, Pro Tools. This is where you can create audio, MIDI, instrument, and auxiliary tracks by coming up to track and clicking new. Pro Tools First comes with high quality stock plugins, which are plugins that come with the software, such as an EQ, a compressor, a gate, a de and more which are regarded as some of the best stock plugins available. You can also use the plugins bundled with your interface as mentioned in the Ableton section inside Pro Tools First. 
as well as plugins from the Avid Marketplace. However, you cannot use any other third-party plugins with Pro Tools First. Pro Tools First also comes with the Focusrite Creative Pack, which is a set of 12 plugins from Avid's Marketplace, which are exclusively free for Focusrite customers. These are available inside your Avid Master account from avid.com. A list of these is available in the link in the description below. In Pro Tools First, you can have 16 audio tracks, 16 MIDI tracks, 16 instrument tracks, and 16 auxiliary tracks in your session at once. You can have four audio inputs and four audio outputs running simultaneously. And you can also have three Pro Tools First sessions saved and stored in the cloud at one time, which forces you to complete your projects and release music regularly. If necessary, you can buy more storage for your sessions. You can export your audio from Pro Tools First by coming to File, Export, and Audio Mix. As I mentioned at the start of the video, both of these doors will allow you to do the same thing, just in slightly different ways. So if you've never tried either before, then feel free to try both and see which one you prefer. Now in the description below, we've included links to tutorials on how to record in both of these pieces of software to help you get going. We hope you enjoy recording with your new Scala interface in whichever door you choose.